honestly, I think it stems from a root of jealousy sometimes. Um, I have never worked with a hygienist who thought she was the queen bee. That's that's the hard thing for, for me to be relatable to somebody um, because they have gone to schooling a little bit longer. Um, they're producers, considered producers, you know, in some off in some offices. I feel like sometimes it's a jealousy of, well, we do all this, but you do this or, you know, um, I help you take your x-rays. I should be paid hygiene pay. So there's a lot of um, animosity sometimes, I think, between the dental assistant and the hygienist because they don't see it as we are a team. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Gloves Off. I'm David Rice. I'm your chief editor here at Dentistry IQ, and I'm back with... Julie, dental assistant of 32 years. Whoa. Hey, Julie. Whoa. How's your day today? Today is great. It's a little hot and sticky here in New York, but it's uh, it's nice. There's no snow on the ground, so I can't complain. And you know from living in Buffalo that you know, no snow is a good day. <laughs> no, <laughs> that that strange orange ball in the sky that makes an appearance. That's always a good day. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. So obviously there's lots of different relationships and dynamics that happen in a dental practice. And one of them happens between clinical team members and let's say dental assistants and hygienists. So I want to just call it what it is and say, what's with the damn hierarchy that lots of practices have and what do we do about it? I think, honestly, I think it stems from a root of jealousy sometimes. Um, I have never worked with a hygienist who thought she was the queen bee. That's that's the hard thing for, for me to be relatable to somebody. Um, because they have gone to schooling a little bit longer, um, they're producers, considered producers, you know, in some off in some offices, I feel like sometimes it's a jealousy of, well, we do all this, but you do this, or, you know, um, I help you take your x-rays, I should be paid hygiene pay. So there's a lot of um, animosity sometimes, I think, between the dental assistant and the hygienist because they don't see it as we are a team. How are we getting it through the day to help the patient? Because at yeah. the end of the day, we all have a different role and we might have different education. That might be saying, you know, for me to come up to a hygienist I just met, well, I have a bachelor's and you don't. You know, it's it's it has nothing to pertain to helping the patient out. What are we doing to help that patient? And I think sometimes if we drop our egos, um, and really look at the overall picture. We are in healthcare to help people. And however we do that is the goal. Yeah. So you network with literally tens of thousands of dental mm -hmm. assistants every single week on Dental Assistance Rock. Like what kind of things are hitting you every single week as a problem between dentist and assistant? Like what what like there's lots of pieces of advice but if you had like a big piece of advice right now to say hey dental assistant i need you to do this and hey hygienist i need you to do this what what would you say i think they have to put um like you said the hierarchy aside what are you doing in your practice because outside of the practice it doesn't matter if i meet a hygienist on the street you don't street, have a badge I don't have a badge. I'm not the assistant police or the hygiene police. If I meet in a, a hygienist outside the office, we are just totally two people that work in dentistry. Um, but in the office, we need to be a team and cohesive team. And how do, you know, I help that hygienist if she's running behind or how do they help me? And that's the key is helping. If you're a person that doesn't want to help and you just stay in your op and your bubble, then there's the issue. But you want you have to help to think of, okay, how can we get through today's schedule? How can we help the next patient? We're running behind. My assistant is struggling with x-rays. How do I help her? Um, I'm struggling with taking an impression. There's some hygienists that haven't taken an impression since hygiene school. 
if I'm an expert at taking impressions, you bet your bottom, I'm going to help my hygienist do a, a better job. Yeah. So it's really worry about how can we help each other? Nobody's better than each other. We're just a little bit more educated in a certain specific field. That's my thing. And oftentimes when I bring up points, like when laws change and, you know, dental assistants are given more skills, like on the hygiene, you know, in the hygiene pathway or the lane, as I call it. Um, sometimes I think we should stay in our lane as assistants. Sometimes I think it's helping serve a, maybe an underserved population. We're desperate for a hygienist. Um, but I get a lot of feedback from hy um, hygienists that some assistants come in with attitudes or team members come with attitudes. We should not be having attitudes. Yeah. That's, we're not there for our own ego. We're there for a patient. I love and that. I love that. So, mm -hmm. okay. Last question. Mm -hmm. I'm the dentist in your practice. Um, what do I do to Boy. make this better? Because <laughs> I'm either helping or I'm hurting. So what, you know, what do I do to make this better? And sometimes that's the case because they put their blinders on. They're like, I don't want to see this. You know, I don't want to deal with it. I want to just focus on the mouth. I think at the end of the day, we have to all be adults. I think the dentist has to look at it as, okay, this is my practice and this is not okay for people to act like this. Um, I think having, you know, like an inter intervention maybe <laughs> uh, between the hygienist and the dental assistant at the time, if that's the issue of, okay, what do we need to do? What do we need to do to solve this problem? And, and you know, different personalities sometimes will never mix, but when you're at work and you're getting paid to do a job and help people, you need to leave that at the door and just focus on what's in front of you. So I think the dentist has to take reins of their practice and really, even though it's another thing you don't want on your plate, it really has to um, work in a cohesive environment and figure out how to change it. I love that. So dentists who are listening, it's up to you to set the tone and set the guide mm -hmm. rails and assistants and hygienists and dentists. We can throw in admins here because I think we're going to talk about them next time. Mm -hmm. We're all there for one purpose, and that's deliver the best care we can to our patients yeah. and our community. Julie, thank you for hanging out today. Thank you for How do people me. find you? Uh, Dental Assistant Rock on Instagram or myself, Julie Varney, on TikTok. Love it. Cheers. Cheers.